<coughs> Morning everyone, how are you guys doing? I'm in my hotel room right now, it's quite noisy, there's a big road right down there and I wanted to talk to you guys about why this is a two part video. Basically, I edited the video yesterday and uh, it ended up being like, the, I mean, this is the video you probably saw yesterday and the video you're about to see now and it ended up being like 22 minutes long or something and I thought that was too long for you guys to see the special part that happened at the end which is what you're about to see, which was one of the best things I've ever done in a car, like absolutely unbelievable. Um, so I thought I'd split it up into two, and this is just my intro explaining why I did that. I'm gonna cue the intro in a bit and then show you all that footage, but I also just wanted to touch upon quickly the fact that I'm no longer gonna be doing daily vlogs. Uh, I've been doing daily vlogs for nearly a month now, and while I've enjoyed doing it, it's been really fun. Um, I just don't think it's the right thing for my channel, like my views have shot down, subscribers have stopped going up, and I think that might have to do with just putting out content that isn't the best content ever, but just trying to put out quantity. So I'm going to try and put out more quality stuff rather than quantity, so maybe two, three videos a week, um, if that, and just make them good videos. So that's what I'm going to try and do from now on. I'm sort of trying out all these different things. Let me know what you think, if you have any advice or things like that you want me to see, just comment down below. But anyways, I won't keep this going for too long. Here is a very, very special uh, sort of evening, later afternoon evening that I had a couple of days ago, which I just, I can't even describe how cool it was. So here's the intro and here's what happened. We've made it back to the track, but we're all rushing. Everyone's only just arrived. Let's put this car in gear, a handbrake off, um, and we are going to go onto the track now, or to the pits at least, I think. So here we go. This is what it's like to drive onto a racetrack. Oh. oh yes, oh yes, 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 this is special. So we're on the track now and somehow I've ended up all the way at the front. I'm not really sure how that happened, but all the cars are lined up. I think we're all gonna line them all up sort of in a line like this and then do like a parade lap or something. I'm sort of learning as we go, I'm not entirely sure. But this is pretty bloody cool to have all the cars lined up on Paul Ricard racetrack. I've never been here before, the first time I come is actually on the track. Alphabetical order, that's what we're doing. Alphabetical order, now I get it. So I'm at the front, the Ferrari's just chilling over there. I don't really know why, Ferrari's always seem to have an exception to the rule. But um, yeah, here we go. We've got myself, the Audi, and then the BMW, and then all the others are going into formation over there. Um, so yeah, we're now getting all the race car versions of the cars we have to line up with us. Bloody hell, this is epic. This right here is the dream. When people ask me what my dream day would look like, today would be, <laughs> would be pretty much what it would be like. We're now gonna get all the bloody race cars of the cars we have lined up to do a lap with us driving our cars and them driving the race cars, them being the professional racing drivers. Yeah, cool. <laughs> look, it's a hybrid Audi. Hashtag lols. The lad's pushing the car, but that's gonna go next to the Audi R8 all the way down there. Absolutely stunning. Look at this, it's got flipping holes in the wing mirrors. This is the part where I should really put, do a whole little montage and put music, but I think we're about to jump in the car so I don't have time to film all of the clips I need to before you say, hey, where's the music, all that stuff. Anyways, GTR, looking pretty special. Oh, they all just look so extreme when you see them next to the road cars. This one's open, look at that. And then the Porsche right there, massive wheel arches, huge wing. Imagine people were complaining about the GT3 RS wing being too big. Take a look at that bad boy. Conveniently, it's in the same colour as the rope car. Verde Ethica. Ethica. I think it sounds like Paul, Paul's old guy, armature Gallardo, this does. Look at the difference. Madman. Madman. Apparently, John Olsen's thinking of designing something like this. Street legal. Which would be kind of crazy. Here she is, the Aston, the one I've been waiting for. And man, it looks different. I mean, listen, I've got these little things, these little louvers, whereas in the race car, they full blown just cut holes. This is me being artsy, guys. I feel like that was a cool shot. Oh, yeah. I am about to lead the convoy in the Aston, guys. With this guy who's going to be my companion for the trip, we're going to be together. Oh, hello, radio. So, here we go. 
I've got a camera set up facing forward, so hopefully you guys will be able to see what's happening right now. I feel like sport mode and sport suspension are appropriate in a racetrack. This is absolutely incredible. I'm driving on a racetrack and my rear view mirror right now is just race cars and supercars. This is, oh my god, this is mad. If I muck up now, I destroy 30 race cars. Okay, I'm now literally on a racetrack following a race car. I can do with front facing cameras right now guys So I'm gonna try and sum up what just happened without swearing which is basically impossible as you can see behind me There are all of the GT3 cars and their road variants just lined up and I've just done two laps of Paul Ricard test track keeping up with a GT3 car in an Aston Martin V12 Vantage uh, like there's, no, there's no way I can go from here. I mean, I will show you all these cars, but to be perfectly honest with you, there's, I need to end the video here, because it's not going to get any better. So why, why continue it? I'm still in shock, guys. I literally feel like... I don't even know what I, I feel like. I feel like I've just jumped off an aeroplane with no parachute, effectively. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm probably going to end the video here and keep walking. I should probably stop so it's more stable for you guys. But wow, wow, wow. This is definitely... If I could write out what my dream day would look like, this would be right up there because that was flipping unbelievable. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I am staying here till Sunday, so there's going to be plenty more of this action. I've heard rumors of... P1 GTRs and Zonda Rs and things like that possibly coming in the next vlogs. I don't know. Who am I to know? But anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you aren't already, please remember to subscribe. Please give this video a like if you thought that this was bloody epic, because I certainly did. Um, and yeah, cheers guys. I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh my lordy lord, people. It is bloody gorgeous. Holy crap. It's incredible. Oh. I wish I had the front facing camera on, I didn't have time to put it on before we left. Wow, this is stunning. They told me that this road would be nicer than the one yesterday. They were not lying. Oh, I can't wait to get to the top and show you. Wow, wow, wow. Such a 
beastly noise. 